Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I have four new Spanish sewing magazines to show you. And because I know last time you missed me not talking about them and seeing what I liked and what I didn't like, I'm going to flip through each one one at a time and then hang on and I will come back and tell you my favorites and if I happen to have some fabric that might go in with them. So we're going to start with the February issue of Berta Style. Here's the flip through and then I'll come on back. So there were several pieces in this magazine that I really liked and the first one that I'd really love to make is this and I have some black denim let me show you I have some black denim from Minerva from the Minerva design team and I think this could be really great now it does seem to be a lined dress so I'm trying to get an idea of if I have to line it or if I can get away without it I feel like it might be really hot if I line it and I prefer to keep it a little bit more functional so I don't know we'll see but I just love this I love the paneling I love the pockets I love the wrap detail the v-neck yeah I love all of this so this might be my next kind of bit of a challenge piece I'd say but at the same time I think totally doable I'm also loving this jacket it's kind of similar to the make my lemonade wear lemonade um, jacket I made last year which I did not bring with me <laughs> so this is very similar to that and I really like the fit of it. So I have this fabric that I bought on my first shopping trip to Barcelona and it also has sort of a more pink wrong side that you can see there, which maybe I could feature in, I don't know. But I like that it's, you know, it will read probably as more of a black jacket, but there's definitely that light pink in there and that might be kind of a fun spring jacket it's a nice light fabric and the last thing is this raglan sleeve wrap top you don't often see wrap tops in a raglan i find um, and i love the gathers on the side because that's also something that i like that makes things not too tight on my stomach which is not my favorite thing i also wonder if you could maybe probably lengthen this into a dress so i have this john calder fabric also from minerva that i've been waiting to use I have a fair amount of it. I think I have two, maybe even two and a half meters. Isn't that pretty? And I'm thinking, I don't know if, well, I'll show you. There's one other pattern too that I'm thinking of because I'd like to be able to maybe get two things out of this. I'd love to be able to get a top out of it and then maybe a simple dress as well because I think it would be really wearable and really comfortable. Next we have uh, issue 406 of Patrones.
So this is funny. I was out the other day and I needed change because I had to give someone cash. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked into my little shop where I go for my sewing magazines and got and went, oh gosh, maybe there's something new and I could just pick it up. And this literally was there. Um, I wasn't even planning on getting it. So cute stuff in here. Um, one thing I was also thinking of for that same John Calder fabric that I was showing you before is this wrap top here. And you don't really get to see it a ton, but if you look at the um, at the line drawing here, it's kind of drapey and nice and it's sleeveless. And I thought that could be nice and probably wouldn't take a ton of fabric. I think this is awesome. I've been thinking of doing a sewing inside my comfort zone series and picking things that are a bit out of my comfort zone to try. This would definitely be that. You can see the line drawing there, lots of details, panels, um, yeah, like I think it's very cool. Again, I'd have to figure out if I would actually wear it, but just as an exercise to learn some new skills could be very cool. I love this cotton wrap dress. I feel like you could do a lot with that. You could make it into a top, you could shorten the dress, you could do it full length. I have this that I could use because it is a cotton or I have this and you guys might remember that this is a special fabric that I bought in Barcelona and I still, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to make with it yet. Um, yeah, I go back and forth. So, but I have a show coming up on Valentine's Day and I either want to use that John Calder fabric or this for the show, but this would be kind of amazing for a show. So maybe I have to figure out what to make this out of. Lastly, this skirt. How great is that? So it says it's in silk viscose. No, satin crepe. <laughs> Not at all silk viscose. Is there, is there such a thing as silk viscose? I don't think so. Uh, satin crepe. And I just love that. I think that's pretty awesome. And it does not look too complicated and getting the fit would again be a good challenge. So maybe I need to search out some satin crepe. Here's the January Berta Easy. You know that I made a couple things out of the last Berta Easy and I'm still working on some of them. Um, so as soon as I saw this, I snapped it right up. So here you go. So I think these pants are really cute. I don't generally do flares, but there's something about the length of them that I really like. And I wonder again, if it would be an opportunity to kind of do some fitting, but with something that's not too, too complicated and has really good instructions. Well, for Berta. <laughs> So that's the only one that really jumped out at me in this one, but I often find with Berta Easy that I first get it and I kind of go, mm -mm, and then something just jumps into my brain on how to use it and, and which fabrics to use with it. So I have a feeling that in a little while, I'll probably find more things in this one that I'd like to make. 
Lastly is this. So this is new to me and I bought it because Carmen, Carmen if you're watching, um, who's a viewer who I met and she lives about an hour from me and she said that she bought this one and I didn't realize, I'd seen these previously and I didn't realize that they actually had the patterns in them. I thought it was more like the Vogue magazine that shows the designs and, and gives you tips on them but doesn't actually give you the patterns and this one actually has the patterns. So this is by Simplicity. So you're getting um, 42 models of simplicity patterns. So have a look. So what I liked about this magazine is I thought it was going to give me some basic pattern shapes that I could then use for other things. Rather than that, me being blown away by the designs like I am often in Patrones or Berta, these, these are more like good solid basic patterns that I can use for all sorts of things. So for instance, love these pants. My favorite pant pattern is my Vogue pat, my Vogue, um, I forget the number, but it's the one that's the part of the bodysuit. I'll, I'll put it in, I'll find it. Um, and I use those for nice swingy palazzo pants. And not that I don't have other patterns like that, but I thought that these would be really cute. I love this dress. This is the kind of thing I would wear on a daily basis. Um, when it gets nicer out, which already is starting to get nicer out, I really feel like this is the kind of thing that I would just throw on to take the kids to school, to hang out during the day. When the, when the weather is nice, I wear dresses probably 80% of the time. So I think this would be just a perfect day dress and really easy to make. So this is just a simple shell, but I like a simple shell. <laughs> and this again could be something that I could make with this fabric just to have maybe a little side piece if I could squeak it out. Um, I've got to figure out if I want to make more than one thing if I'm going to have enough. But I just thought that could be a really cute, simple little shell. And, and here in Spain, I find people are pretty casual. So if I use a fancier fabric with a really simple design, I think that would work really, really well. And then lastly, how cute is this little mono? Um, I don't think I would do the long sleeves with the shorts. I think I would either do short sleeves or I would lengthen it a little bit or I don't know. I, uh, I don't like to be ageist, but I feel like this is a bit young for me, but I like the idea of it and I like the V-neck and it reminds me, if you take this out and just do the top, it reminds me quite a bit of some Cezanne stuff that's been coming in lately. Um, and it even reminds me a little bit of the French, French poetry one that I just did, except obviously simpler. So I'm not quite sure about this, but there's something about it that really piques my interest. Okay, that's it. Uh, more, four more magazines, uh, four more magazines for me to put in my suitcase or more likely backpack so it's not so heavy. Um, on the way back to Canada this summer. Um, I just think these are such a great deal. I mean, it's five euros, so $7.50 Canadian, even a little less. Um, for 20 odd patterns each and um, yeah, so I, I, I just I can't resist. I can't resist. It's like candy I hope you guys are doing great. I hope that you enjoyed my last maker vlog and I've already started working on the second one I'm probably my coat is hanging over there and it is about mm, 85% done. I've got some hand stitching to do on it and I still have to do the belts and I have to do the pockets But other than that, it's mostly done and then I'll be able to show you all the things that I've made Anyway, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.